Hi guys, it's Candace from Beacon Hill Books. I'm here to do a quick book review of The Spy by Paola Coelho. Uh, Paola Coelho wrote famously The Alchemist. I haven't read it in a long time, but I did enjoy that book and so I have been meaning to pick up another one of his books. This is a historical fiction um, based um, on Matahari. She was a true historical fiction uh, character during the World War One, and her, it's really a quick book, it's like 200 pages, and it basically has an introduction where she, it's like the night before she is going to go before the firing squad, that's not a spoiler, um, it's, the book starts off that way, and this is a known thing that happened in her life, and then it's really a book told from her perspective in terms of writing. So she's writing a letter to her solicitor slash lawyer. Um, and then the second part is him responding to her letter. So Matahari was um, Dutch and she was just brought up in a pretty well-to-do family, but just not, she was very anxious um, to move out of the current state in terms of um, one of her teachers was actually had raped her. I don't know if that was repeatedly occurring. Um, and she was in the throes of an, a marriage and that wasn't working out for her either. And so she just decided she wanted to create herself new. Um, she, and doing so has to depend on herself to create money. And the way she does that is she, becomes a dancer slash courtesan, um, prostitute in a way, but she really invents that she was um, from this exotic place when really she was uh, just from the Netherlands and, and uh, making the step up as she goes. Um, here you can see that um, it's based on real events and the prologue begins with her bravely standing in front of the firing squad. It was told that she got dressed up and actually like winked at the soldiers before they shot her. Um, she was just a very fantastic and brave woman to, to do this, I feel. Um, this little part tells about right before she gets uh, shot. This is the first part, which is her letter. This is her marriage picture. And uh, she's writing there to her uh, solicitor and kind of saying, man, there's so many people that were on my side before and where did they all go? Nobody's coming to my rescue. She can't believe it. They don't have the best evidence against her, but she can't understand why that's happening. The second part is um, here she is in her garb, which I think I was looking online, I'll post a link. Um, her sort of top there is in one of the international spy museums. Um, and so he, the lawyer responds to her letter and really what kind of happened at the end. Um, and I don't wanna go into it too much the story, but she ends up kind of getting approached by two different countries, um, first Germany and then France, and uh, she decides really she only wants to work for one of them, but she kind of is putting herself in this like untouchable state. She thinks nobody's going to um, do anything about her uh, kind of espionage work, and that's not the case. Um, so there was another picture in here, but, um, anyways, if you're looking for a very in-depth historical account of Matahari and, um, you know, like Brie from Brie's memoir didn't love this book. I think she gave it a three because to her point, it's only 200 pages, so you are going to want to go and read more after um, but to me, this was an entertaining read. I didn't want to put it down. 
and I learned enough that it whet my appetite um, to try and, and want to learn more, but at the same time, it was like a Cliff Notes version of what happened. And really from half of it was from her perspective, which I thought was clever. So I really enjoyed this book. I think if you like historical fiction um, and uh, stories about, you know, independent historical women that you would also enjoy this. Um, so I gave this book five stars and I just wanted to give it a little shout out. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've read this book or any other books, um, about Matahari and I'll talk to you soon.